I'm pretty sure everybody at some point has been in this situation. You're off stage, the opponent gets a hit in, and at this point you're not sure if you have to tech or not. Some people either focus on teching, which can end up making them air dodge to their potential death, while others may try to recover back to the stage, often getting stage fight. It's important to know when you should tech and when you shouldn't, because picking the wrong one can lead to an SD. There is however one simple and easy solution, and that is the stage spike or recovery option select. An option select is when a certain combination of inputs will always do the right option for you, depending on what happens in the game. It may seem a bit confusing, but I'll try to explain it as best I can. Depending on your percentage, and the strength of the move you get hit by, you will be sent into what's called a tumble state. When in tumble state, you can tech when you hit a surface. No matter what character you play, you will eventually find yourself in a situation like this one. You get hit off stage, and you're not sure if you'll be sent into tumble or not, which means you're not sure if you have to tech or to recover, and picking the wrong option here will probably lead to an SD. But by implementing the stage pike option select, the game will automatically pick the right one for you. It's really simple. To use it, you simply press both your shield button to tech and your up B move at the same time. The reason this works is because of a move priority list in the game that prioritizes certain inputs over others. And since specials are prioritized over shields, by pressing both, the game will automatically do the right one for you. If you're not sent into tumble, the game will do an up B. And if you happen to be sent into tumble and have to tech, the game will tech for you because a special move wasn't even possible. So it goes down to the next move in the priority list, which are shields. Essentially what this does is that it lowers the reaction factor a bit while slightly increasing the execution factor since you have to press more inputs. It is also worth noting that you can do an option select into any special move, not just up B's. Yo, what's good homie? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date my current projects. Make sure to join my Discord server if you would like some coaching lessons or just hang around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.